I always tell people I was a victim of the system, but I'm not a victim of myself. So much of us were so screwed in our student loan situation. And that is the truth. And we can acknowledge that, but you cannot be sitting around waiting for someone to save you. I always thought if I did enough cries for help, my parents were going to come and they never did. To be honest, like if I connected with older men, they'd hear my story and feel pity for me and they would help and they never did. Even though I was clawing at my situation to get out of it, I still was always waiting for someone to save me. And I think it's once I started to see myself getting on the other side of it, I was like, you got this yourself. No one's coming to save you. It's been years at this point, Bradley. You got screwed. You're not getting a refund. So you have to just tackle it. And I really do feel sad for a lot of people that are in similar situations. They're either sitting back waiting for the government to do something, which let's just say the same government who allowed this is not going to be the same government who saves you. You have to wake up and you have to save yourself in this. And I think if people think in that mindset of I'm a victim of the system, but I'm not a victim of myself, so I'm not going to sit back and let my life go by. I tell people in my content, I've lived both sides of it, both extremes. I lived the life of $130,000 of debt with a degree making $12 an hour. And now I've lived on the other side of it where I'm more financially stable than I ever in my wildest dreams thought was possible, truly. So I've seen both very extreme sides of it. And I'm just telling you, you do not want that looming cloud over your head. It feels scary. It's intimidating. You think it can never go away or get better, but you're listening to someone who literally in worst case scenario. And I did it. I think what hurts a lot of us today is instant gratification and how quick everything in life is, whether it's social media or ordering something online and it shows up the next day, that we want our financial situations to be just as quick. It's so easy to listen to me now and hear, oh, I'm financially stable. I did it. I work all these jobs. But it was an 11-year story to be here. Even if you don't have student loan debt, even if you have 15,000 in credit card debt and you think you're drowning in that, dedicate the next two years of your life to just getting rid of it and moving on and living the best life you can.